are you just curious about what it costs to live in the Philippines nowadays? You are in the right place because today we are diving into the cost of living in the Philippines. From housing to food to transportation, we will break down the numbers and give you a clear picture. Are you ready? Let's get started. Let's start with one of the biggest expenses, housing. For those of you who have houses in the Philippines, you don't need to worry about this. But for those who don't, here are the numbers. It's important to take note that housing costs can vary wildly depending on where you want to live. In Metro Manila, renting a studio and one-bedroom apartment can cost around 25,000 to 30,000 pesos per month. Three-bedroom apartment in the city center can cost around 60,000 to 100,000 pesos per month. If you're looking at more affordable options outside the city center, you might spend around 30,000 to 60,000 pesos. In the provinces though, rent is much cheaper. One-bedroom apartment can cost between 8,000 to 15,000 pesos per month. A three-bedroom apartment might cost you around 15,000 pesos to 30,000 pesos per month. Now, if you want to buy real estate like condominium, apartment, or a house, it will also depend on the location. Let's say you want to buy a condo or an apartment in a city center like Makati or BGC area, a studio unit can range from 2 million pesos to 3 million pesos. One bedroom unit ranges from 3 million to 5 million pesos. Two to three bedroom unit ranges from 5 million to 10 million pesos. Now if you find a rush sale, you can get them at the much cheaper price. One time, we went to Makati and did some condominium shopping and eventually turned it into an Airbnb business. We looked at this penthouse one bedroom unit and the price is at 7 million pesos. And then we found some owners who are willing to sell their units in the same building for much cheaper price. Probably they want to sell it quickly. When we were talking to the agent, it became interesting because she mentioned how many of her clients are making passive income through Airbnb or staycation business. Since most of her clients are OFW and outside the country, she is the one who manages the units. She says that one unit is earning up to 60,000 pesos a month. And that opened my eyes. I said, really? The rate is 2,500 pesos per night. So for 60,000 pesos a month income, that is a total of 24 nights. We stayed there in that building for a night just to fill the area the amenities, and to assess the market. And we can say that it's pretty good busy. Now let's do the math and see how much the passive income is. So let's say the monthly payment for the condo is about 30,000 pesos plus 15% for the property manager, that is 9,000 pesos, and a 3% Airbnb fee of 1,800 pesos. There is roughly 19,000 pesos in passive income. Not too bad. Again, these numbers are just estimates. And the income will, of course, fluctuate depending on the number of bookings. This really made us more interested in investing in a condo and turning it into an Airbnb business. But I would rather buy directly from motivated owners who want to sell their condos quickly to save money up front. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comment section. Now let's talk about the next cost, which is the food. This will be the next big chunk of your budget, especially if you love to eat like us. One of the joys of living in the Philippines is the abundance of fresh and affordable produce. A trip to the local market for fruits and vegetables might cost you around 2,000 to 4,000 pesos per week for a family of four. For us, a family of five living in the province, we give our cook a budget of 3,000 500 to 5,000 pesos per week. What she does is make a list of our meals for the whole week and then budget them. That is mostly fruits, vegetables, fish, and chicken. Now, the groceries are another story. The budget for our groceries is about 15,000 to 20,000 pesos per month, which includes toiletries and cleaning supplies. If you love to eat out like we do, a meal at an inexpensive restaurant costs about 150 
350 to 300 pesos per person, while a three-course meal for a family of five at a mid-range restaurant can cost around 2,000 to 5,000 pesos. Living in a province, we go to Manila once in a while just to feel the city life. One time, we went to Rockwell in Makati to watch a movie. A movie ticket cost 395 pesos. It is super cold inside the cinema. It's like Canada. I mean, you need to bring your jackets or even a blanket to make you comfortable watching inside. I remember there is this salad bar just outside the movie theater and it's the tastiest salad bowl I've ever tasted in the Philippines. A salad bowl costs between 300 to 400 pesos. The salad with salmon is the most expensive one. What I like about this is that you can make your own salad bowl. Food selection is a challenge in the province, especially if you want to try different cuisines. Like us, we love to eat Thai or Vietnamese food once in a while. The closest Thai and Vietnamese restaurant is in Baguio, which is about two hours drive from us. So every time we crave for these foods, we go to Baguio. Now let's talk about transportation. Public transport is very affordable, but can be a bit of an adventure. A jeepney ride costs around 10 pesos to 20 pesos. A tricycle ride can range from 30 pesos to 50 pesos depending on the distance. If you prefer driving, gasoline costs around 50 to 60 pesos per liter. For grab or taxi, the fare depends on how far you will go. Let's say that from Makati to the airport, the cost is around 250 to 400 pesos. In our case, our gas cost is around 4,000 to 6,000 pesos monthly. Let's not forget utilities and other daily expenses. Electricity costs between 8 pesos to 10 pesos per kilowatt hour. Water bills are typically around 500 to 1,000 pesos per month. Internet plans can range from 1,500 to 3,000 pesos per month depending on the speed. Our electric bill is about 15,000 pesos per month and that varies depending on the weather. During the summer months, it will be higher due to longer use of air conditioning. Next, let's talk about health insurance. This will vary depending on your age and the coverage you get. Just to give you an example, our medical insurance for me, my husband, and the three kids is 29,000 pesos a year. Living in the Philippines can be both affordable and challenging. It all depends on your lifestyle and preferences. If you prefer to live near amenities, choose the city center. But prepare to spend more than if you live in rural areas like the provinces. To summarize the cost, a family of four might spend around 100,000 to 200,000 pesos per month to live a comfortable life in Manila. In the provinces, it could be significantly lower, around 60,000 to 100,000 pesos per month. Remember, these are just estimates. Your actual expenses will depend on your personal lifestyle and choices. Deciding to live in the Philippines involves balancing these costs and benefits. It's a place full of beauty, culture, and warmth, but it's also a place with its own set of challenges. So, is the Philippines the right place for you? Think about what most important for you and your family's happiness and well-being. Whether it's the bustling city life or the peaceful rural landscape, the choice is yours. Are you financially ready to stay or retire in the Philippines? Let me know in the comment section. If you want to know why we moved back to the Philippines after living in Canada for 10 years, watch this video next. Wait, have you subscribed yet? Click the button now.